One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. A woman who could turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? Down here, though, we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. <laughs> Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything, anything at all, and there will be consequences. black robes around here somewhere, so how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea, or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, profile. Houses in the sea air. Paint chipping wood. Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. Oil gold. Hey, you see that trio that took the elevator up? Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? Okay. Where was I? <laughs> we were for Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing the boat and causing a scene, both us and Black Robe friends are SOL. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <laughs> Sword. Anybody, You're some kind of fighter, please. aren't you? That was Priscilla. 
And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. Please! Help! We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! Quickly! Please!
no you don't! She's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Somebody, help! We need to get her breathing again. God, she's so cold. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. And there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't you? You big moron! Dum -dum 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 <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Psst. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing. Tell you that. When an old salt like me. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but. Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could. Come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry! Promise! Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Isn't the heroes of the hour? I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? <clears throat> uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but 
but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Oh. It's open. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. them slipping away one by one and the tighter I held on the more I lost I know I felt the same it was like they were sucking them straight out of my head and the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing only that something is like it's on the tip of my tongue but I just can't remember damn whispers speaking of you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Right. Thought it was someone else. Nope. All clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. You, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at 7th Heaven, and I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl, especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... <sighs> you... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in.
I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. That the gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wu Tai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wu Tai's not to be trifled with. <laughs> <sighs> Wu Tai? me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand, but you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that! <laughs> Although, that is something we do. alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, yes! <sighs> Just spit it out already. Else but a certain company's new president. 
Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? <sighs> A pain in the ass. Let's go. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsborough. Me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Shinra only knows how to raise mayhem. You wouldn't believe how quiet these waters used to be. But ever since Shinra swept in with their big tankers, the seas have been rough. Elevator's been shut down since shit hit the fan up there. Oh! Hey, you guys! We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. 
so we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep, it should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome! Alright then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up! With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. <sighs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way... You've been a 
huge help, Priscilla. No prob. Well, guys and girls, and, uh, dog, I'll see you later. <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> hey, Mark! We're good to go down here! 